add some power and feel to your game with the Wilson Blade 104 V9. The most forgiving blade in the family, this model pairs its 104 square inch head size with an extended 27.5 inch length and 16 by 19 string pattern for plenty of power off the ground. Even with its longer length, this Blade 104 feels fast and maneuverable with a headlight balance. New for this ninth generation is the inclusion of the stable feel technology, which uses a slightly firmer layup to gain stability and power. I've tested a few generations of the Blade 104 and a few uh, models ago they switched from that tighter string pattern to this 16 by 19 and comparing it to the 8 there really wasn't a whole lot of difference for me. There was easy playability, great power especially coming out of the Blade family and easy access to spin. What I'm really impressed with is that it is a longer length racket but it really doesn't lag at all. It's super whippy for being 27 and a half inches. I had no issues getting it around from the baseline as well as at net and overhead I really, when I was serving I really liked that extra length to give me even more power. One issue I did have with this racket off the ground is that I hit a fairly flat ball and if I was really going after it and trying to um, put the ball away, sometimes the ball did fly on me because I'm not using that topspin to get it in so I did need to be sure to add topspin or choose more conservative targets. Overall, I didn't find a huge difference between the previous version and this ninth version. It's really still a great, fun racket to play with. Maybe the only update I felt was a slightly softer feel. I was on the previous version of this racket and I was fairly impressed with it uh, for what it is and that is the case here with this update. Um, this is a fairly unique offering from Wilson um, in the Blade family because it is extended length and I didn't feel like the control was the key feature of this racket. Um, I thought this was a very user friendly racket, really easy to swing and generate racket head speed with. I felt like I could um, get tons of racket head speed on my forehand and on my serves to get plenty of power and depth with. And because it is a very open string pattern racket, um, I thought spin was excellent as well. Um, I was able to get tons of top spin on my shots. I did think that the control was a little bit lacking because it is such an open string pattern. I was getting um, a little bit higher launch angle, which meant easier depth, but also meant that uh, when I was missing, I felt like my shots were going long. Uh, now the other small difference I noticed with this racket um, is in the field department. This one just felt a little bit more muted to me compared to the uh, V8 version. Uh, but overall, really nice play test for me. And if you're looking for a racket in the Blade family that's super user friendly, then you want to check this one out. If you hadn't noticed, over the years we don't review many rackets that are of a 285 gram frame weight. Uh, I really was happy to be named to this play test. Obviously, you know, I, I have a slight bias towards length-based frames, but I want to explain why this racket does work so well, at least for me. Um, 285 grams, you know, you're going to get about 10.8 ounces of strong weight out of this, so you're not getting a ton of mass-based power. However, everything about this racket kind of makes up for or compensates for the lack of weight. A 104 head size, you got a nice open string pattern, and the extra length base power of the 27 and a half inch overall length really stabilizes this racket, gives it, I would say, player frame performance, where typically if it was a standard length 285 gram frame, uh, as soon as you know pace picks up, I'm getting bullied around from most any part of the court. So I, was re I really feel like this is a brilliantly executed design probably an underrated frame and you know one of the things that really showed up in the play test for me is how stable and easy uh, the performance is to access from any part of the court and it only had a 309 swing weight strung so that really tells me you know that it was a really well executed design would I add a little more weight to the hoop for extra plow through yes but overall this was just a great all-court racket if there was one other knock I could give to the racket, again, I'm a fan of these extended length rackets. This one used to have a tighter string spacing of an 1819. So my suggestion would be maybe to pair it with one of Wilson's 1620s or an 1819, just to kind of harness all that easy power. But overall, just a fantastic play test. Love this racket. If you'd like to learn anything more about these rackets or anything else tennis related, be sure to visit Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe, or Tennis Only.